Welcome to Essential Clips with an update on the new European medical device regulation. Today we'll talk about the key changes in the new regulation compared to the former directive that medical device manufacturers have to take into account. First of all, the new MDR covers more products. Even those without a medical claim or an intended use may be devices that need to be CE marked in the future. Products formerly classified into class 1 may become classified into a higher class, which will lead to an application for certification by a notified body. Clinical studies become more and more mandatory and the clinical literature route will become more and more difficult. In the new MDR, the definition of equivalent device has changed and become more stringent. As a result, clinical data from such devices cannot be used anymore and new clinical data must be collected. Manufacturers' internal supervision and control of manufacture, the post-market surveillance and vigilance activities, should be carried out by a person responsible for regulatory compliance who fulfills the minimum requirements of qualification. Documentation requirements become more stringent. A new annex to the regulation describes the content of a technical documentation that applies to all classes of medical devices. Under MDR, a periodic safety update report is mandatory. It has to summarise the results and conclusions of the analysis of the gathered post-market surveillance data and needs to be uploaded to the European database Udamed. Further, each medical device must be registered in a central database and marked with a UDI code, a unique device identification code. For rigorous post-market oversight, each manufacturer needs to apply for a single registration number, SRN, and establish a post-market surveillance plan. He shall report any statistically significant increase in the frequency or severity of incidents that are not serious incidents or of expected undesirable side effects. Reporting times in the case of serious incidents are now defined in the regulation. For all devices that will be classified into a higher class, the notified bodies will have to apply more stringent conformity assessment procedures as well as conduct the assessment of the clinical evaluation with personnel of higher qualification. Additionally, they will assess the new periodic safety update reports and upload them to the European database Udemed. The new MDR will also make unannounced audits mandatory for notified bodies. In addition to the MDR, the Commission will develop common specifications similar to the CTS within the current IVDD. Where existing standards are not specific enough, these common specifications will elucidate the requirements. If you want to find out more about the new MDR, please look at our website, follow our newsletter or check out our seminars and workshops. For all that, just click into Medical Devices and Healthcare on our website. Thank you everybody for listening and have a lovely day.